All right, you guys, today we'll check out how to make this leafy text effect here in Adobe Firefly and Adobe Illustrator. For this tutorial, you're gonna need a special typo, which are way more retro looking with a lot of waves going on and a lot of curvatures, and they look a little bit more thick than usual. Now, it's very important to use some black thick fonts because that way the AI is going to replace the font silhouette with leaves or other stuff. So for example, you can go with this milestone font free version, or you also can go with the retro font. This is also for free, you can download it. Now take that in mind that these fonts won't work from default. You're gonna need to customize it. So let's go to Illustrator and as you can see, this one is the original font, the Retroc. And then the bottom one is a customized Retroc. I mean, I recreated the original Retroc font and I also gonna show you how to do that real quick. So what I did first, I just removed this line because it's not working with Adobe Firefly correctly. Let's select the font, right click, create outline. And I gotta go and select the direct selection too. And from here, you can customize it however you like. You also can simplify it. Let's try it out simplifying it. Go to option path and I'm gonna go with a smooth sorry not with simplify smooth and I'm gonna smoothen it this is going to remove unnecessary anchor points and it's gonna make it more smoother but it's not the smoothest we also gonna need to remove more so I'm gonna select D delete anchor point tool press and hold shift and I'm gonna go click on the unwanted anchor points so it's gonna make it nice and curvy I'm gonna press and hold alt drag the handle make this sharp remove the unnecessary anchor points and just try to customize the handles even more. And I'm gonna bring this here, stretch it out. So this way you can create a longer leaf. And also to make it thicker, I selected everything and just scroll down here on group. And I'm gonna release it. And here we got the offset path and I'm gonna decrease it and make sure to offset it to make it more thicker. Click OK. I'm gonna go here, press and hold Shift plus M. Or you can select the Shape Builder tool. I'm gonna press and hold Alt. Click in the center, there we go. I'm gonna unite these and I'm gonna select the thicker versions. And this way, I'm just gonna break the typography rules and make something really funky, really retro. But in order to operate Adobe Firefly as best as you can, you're gonna need like solid typography skills as well. And after you're done, you can export it as a JPEG with wide background. I also gonna leave the links in the description with these fonts as well. These are like thicker ones, but they are only demo fonts. So you can download it for personal use and experiment with them in Adobe Firefly. Okay, so let's go to Adobe Firefly. Let's click on generate. We're gonna clear up all the prompt and everything. Let's go up, select the widescreen. If you are working with a full name and I'm gonna select photo. Here we're gonna upload the image with the text and I'm gonna select it, open, continue. Increase the strength all the way to 100%. And I'm gonna scroll down. And here we got the hyper realistic. Select it. Scroll down more. Go to the light. Select studio light. Let's go to the prompt. And we're gonna type in text silhouette made of leaves. Top view isolated on pink background. And let's go click on try prompt. And there you go. I'm gonna generate one more. And here we go. Okay, so it's not that bad, but now I'm also gonna try it out using style references. So I'm gonna go here to the reference image, click on X, and I'm gonna go to the prompts, and I'm gonna type it in here, leaf. Click on generate, and here I'm gonna go and download one of these leaves. Actually, I'm gonna go with two, and I'm gonna go back to the reference image, upload the reference image again, select open, increase the strength to 100%, and let's scroll down here to the style reference images, and we're gonna upload the leaf. I'm gonna select the leaf, click on open, and here I'm gonna decrease the strength and visual intensity, and I'm gonna go and type the original prompt back in, and click on generate. And boom, there you go. This is actually way more successful. So this version works even better than using only prompts. Again, we also got another pretty successful result. Let's try it out one more time. Very nice! And pretty much this is how I generate a typo with realistic looking leaves here in Adobe Firefly. Thanks for watching.